When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle. Good morning, Sophia. Good morning. Oh, is it noon? Yeah. Uh, lunchtime. It's almost one o'clock. Going to Chili's. And today's the day the iPhone 5 comes out. Are you getting it? No. Did you get it yet? No. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, we're not getting it because we... Well, I just got my phone. You had yours a while. No. Here. But I don't think we're... Neither one of us are up yet. So, we will not be taking part in the line. Any of you watching took, is getting the iPhone 5, let me know. Let me know how it is. Very, very nice out. They, they just put the gutters up on our house, finally. So, all that's left is to fix the siding and uh, replace the front window. That window, right there. That window. So, we're going to go to Chili's with Sophia. She'll be good, right? You think she'll be good? Yeah, she'll be good. She'll be good? She's going to... Be a good little baby in there. And then we gotta go get lunch meat. Yes. And some groceries maybe. Maybe we should wait until a little bit later to do that though, like closer to when my parents are gonna be here. So that the sandwiches are fresh. Oh, because we're getting sandwiches made. Yeah. What if we make sandwiches? We could. Get meat or not. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we'll do that. We, we should probably come home afterwards and feed her anyway yeah. before we go again anyway. I don't know if we could do both things without feeding her. Little girl gets hungry over here. She's got the hiccups. Hey. All right, let's go. I'm pretty hungry. She's not hungry, she just ate. Hey guys, what do you think? New baby daddy gear right here. That's daddy gear. Really got it f just for the house. Um, Cause a lot, a lot of times there's stuff I need to do around the house, but she needs attention. So this is the perfect way. A lot of times the attention, all the attention she needs is just to be picked up so that she can look at stuff. Cause she looks everywhere all the time. That's all she does now is just look at things. So she gets upset when she's like in one place cause she can't look at many things. So this does the, the trick. She gets to look at like everything and I have two hands except for when I'm vlogging then I have one hand but imagine vlogging and holding a baby I have no hands it's very difficult when you have no hands to do stuff really difficult so uh, Liz's parents are actually gonna come over later for some dinner we're, we're gonna go out later to get some uh, some food and like sandwich stuff so that we can make sandwiches like some meat and stuff like that. I'll probably get turkey or chicken, I guess. And, uh, and yeah, it's uh, mid-September, almost end of September, and my pool is still open. Yeah, that's right. I'm lazy. I still, I, I still got to call a company to come out to close it. And that's how lazy I am. But anyway, Sophia just wanted to get some fresh air. She was like, oh, it's stuffy in the house. I need to go outside and breathe fresh air. So I took her for a little walk. Although I can't really walk around the whole backyard because the sun would be in her face. It's like, this is the only area of shade. Over there is all sun. I would have some more shade there if that huge tree didn't fall in my pool last year. But it did. And it's all sun. Which I'm grateful for, actually. At least the grass in the back corner actually grows now. And the pool actually gets warm. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. So come on, let me know who out there, who got the iPhone 5 and who is planning on getting it in the next few weeks. Let me know, let me know how it is because you know what, iOS 6, I updated my phone to iOS 6. I love it. And I used the TomTom Tom app for navigation and I tried out the maps navigation. It is really good because I look for certain things uh, in a GPS application and once I have those certain features, I'm happy. And the new maps has them. And another feature that I think is really cool that TomTom Tom never had, and I don't think will ever have because Apple wouldn't allow it, to have the phone on the off, to, f to have the phone off, and then when you hit the button, you don't have to unlock the phone to see your next move. That's a nice feature, especially when you're driving. 
and Apple doesn't allow it to third party apps so that's why TomTom Tom never had it but that's an awesome feature right there it reroutes me without having to do anything that's one of the features I like um, everything I don't know I, all I had to do was tell Siri take me home it was freaking on already telling me where to go that is awesome so I'm gonna delete the TomTom Tom app especially being that it's one and a half gigabytes and I have a 16 gigabyte phone so bye TomTom Tom. You've been good. I'm not saying you're a bad app. You're not. But anything integrated in the system is going to be better. Especially with Apple. They just do things really well. Oh, God. I got a freaking bug bite or something on my foot. Like, overnight or something. I don't know. I woke up with it. Ridiculous. All right, so I've been really into Dr. Seuss. Now, the doctor said to start reading to her, especially the rhymey kind of stuff. Because it helps their like brain connections and stuff. So we already had like three Dr. Seuss books, and yesterday we went out, and we bought four more. So we have like seven, I think. And uh, I've been really into reading it to her. Actually, I'm probably gonna read it to her right after I get done vlogging here, because we started a book before and then we didn't finish it. So I'm probably gonna finish the rest of it with her. It's so fun to read to her. I don't know. I like it so much. But um, and I was actually just looking on YouTube. I was like, I just searched Dr. Seuss. A whole bunch of stuff came up. Green Eggs and Ham, it was all like the cartoons. Pretty cool. So I had a couple things to do. She wasn't quite hungry yet. So I had to do some dusting and stuff. So I just popped her in front of it. In front of the TV. And yeah, not too close, just so that she can like see movement and colors and, and the music and stuff while I got the dusting done. It's nice. It was just for like 10 minutes and then she was hungry. She ate and here we are. We're in the backyard. So I'm actually going to go read to her now, and uh, yeah, try to teach this girl some good stuff. Is she dribbling or drooling or something? What's on her shirt? I don't understand. She's starting to drool now, so. But she's a good girl. It's a good girl, there's a Sophia over here. Look at this little head. Such a little head. I'm going to read you guys a section from this Dr. Seuss book, Fox and Socks, because it is ridiculous, ridiculously hard to read. All right, let's have a little talk about Tweedle Beetles. What do you know about Tweedle Beetles? Well, when a Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle Puddle Paddle Battle. And when Beetles battle Beetles in a puddle paddle battle, and the Beetle Battle Puddle is a puddle in a bottle. They call this a Tweedle Beetle Bottle Puddle Paddle Battle Muddle. And when Beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles, and the bottles on a poodle, and the poodles eating noodles, and they call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle. And when a fox is in the bottle where the tweedle beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a tweedle beetle noodle poodle bottle paddled muddled duddled fuddled muddled fox and socks, sir. Fox and socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. That's. That's a hard section. Now, I've read that once or twice before. Imagine the first time. Ridiculous. I couldn't even get through it. But, uh, how about we say I try to get Liz to read it for you guys. I'm going to get Liz to read it for you guys. And one day, I'll get her to read it. She was being Mrs. Cranky Pants. I had her in the little backpack thing. I was reading to her, and I got up and walked around. She was done, I guess. She just wants to lay there. How about we put some music on for her? Something like that. She doesn't even care. Okay, I got Liz to agree to read it. She didn't look at it yet, so she's just gonna read it. Oh, I had a choice? First time. No, he didn't have a choice. I didn't think so. And go. What do you know about Tweedle Beetles? Well, when Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle puddle, puddle battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with puddles in a puddle, they call it Tweedle Beetle Puddle Paddle Battle. And when Beetles battle Beetles in a puddle paddle battle, and the battle battle Beetle Battle Puddle is a 
puddle in a bottle. They call this a tweedle beetle bottle puddle paddle battle muddle and when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle poodle oh, they call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle and now wait a minute, Mr. Socks Fox. When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eatle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottled, Paddled, Muddled, Duddled, Fuddled, Wuddled, Fox and Socks, sir. Oh, good job. <laughs> I didn't expect you to do so good. What? I didn't expect you to do so I well. I didn't expect you to do so well either. That really <laughs> freaked me out. That was pretty tough though, right? That was tough. Can't wait to let Sophia read it. <laughs> Make fun of her on YouTube. Beetle, beetle, puddle. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna mess it all up. I did a little bit. All right, well, good shot, good try, good job. Fox and socks. Should we get Lulu to read it? She does not read. She's she never, she never went to school. She's illiterate. Yes. Uh, it's spit up on me. What is this? Are you drilling again? No. Sophia's wearing her shoes. Shoes. She's so cute. Where's she gonna walk? Oh, nice little so rubber. Are they comfortable shoes, Sophia? Yeah? Good. What is this supposed to be? Is that a groundhog? Porcupine? Oh, porcupine. There's no pinchies. And there's little pacifiers on her. This is shirt. <laughs> a pacifier, another pacifier. Isn't it? No. No? Mushrooms. <laughs> There's all these trucks always parked in front of our house now. That one. Hmm. Wow. Okay, one truck. All right, these why trucks. is it always parked in front of our house now? Or on the street? What is she doing? Oh, Dolph. He's saying, like, Grandma and Pop gonna get here. Funny. Oh, the screen's a little greasy. You can see a baby nose grease on it. <laughs> oh, I can see it. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching today's video vlog. And I'll see you tomorrow.